We've got some massive news to break down today regarding the highly anticipated Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul exhibition boxing match slated for later this year. Reports are now surfacing that Iron Mike himself could be in for one of the biggest paydays of his long storied career. We're talking a potential $20 million purse for Tyson to lace up the gloves against the YouTube superstar turned boxer Jake Paul. I know, my mind is blown too. A $20 million payout would be more than double what most sources have estimated Tyson made for his last comeback exhibition against Roy Jones Jr. And while the fight details are still being finalized, one thing is clear. This matchup is shaping up to be an absolute blockbuster event. The purse rumor comes directly from none other than former UFC champ Henry Cejudo, who co-hosts Tyson's popular hotboxing podcast. Now Cejudo and Tyson go way back and are super tight, so Henry definitely seems like a credible insider source here. He broke down the lucrative matchup from Iron Mike's perspective, saying, quote, I feel like there is probably a really good payday for Mike. He's probably going to wind up making close to about 20 mil, and he's about to turn 58 years old. Literally, Jake is 27 and Mike is 57. I mean, just think about that. A $20 million check for the 57-year-old Tyson to take on Jake Paul, who's nearly 30 years younger at 27. It's going to be an absolutely crazy clash of generations playing out in front of the world. Now, as much hype and intrigue as the matchup itself brings, this rumored eight-figure payday for Iron Mike is arguably just as attention-grabbing. We all know Tyson became one of the highest-paid athletes ever during his prime years. But to think he may be able to demand $20 million now, after 15 years in retirement at nearly 60 years of age? Absolutely remarkable. It just goes to show the sheer magnitude of spectacle and interest this fight is generating. Love him or hate him, Jake Paul has made himself impossible to ignore in the fight game. And by pursuing legends like Mike Tyson, he's creating these unbelievable moments that capture the world's imagination. I gotta say, I really respect the way Jake has learned boxing fundamentals and applied smart matchmaking early on to build his experience and star power. Does he deserve to share the ring with an all-time great like Prime Iron Mike? Probably not. But present-day Mike is a different story in my opinion. At his age, Tyson makes it competitive with the skills and physical gifts Paul currently possesses. Not saying Jake wins or anything, but it won't be the total massacre people expect either. And with both guys possessing true one-punch knockout power, plus the added intrigue of no headgear, this thing almost has a freak show type of appeal to it. Like, imagine if Jake Paul becomes the first man to KO Mike Tyson. I know it sounds crazy, but the possibility alone would make this the biggest combat sports story of the year, hands down. And for Iron Mike, between the $20 million purse and the chance to recapture old glory, how do you pass that up if you're him? He gets to play the role of a dangerous lion in winter, fending off the young hyena trying to test his pride. The more I think about it, the more I'm hyped for this thing to go down. But what about you? Does Mike Tyson earning $20 million at age 57 to fight YouTube's Jake Paul shock you, impress you, disgust you? Let me know how you feel about this whole matchup and rumored purse in the comments. If the early estimates are accurate, Tyson versus Paul is shaping up to be the biggest combat sports event of 2023 so far. And you better believe I'll be locked in providing full coverage and breakdowns for the monumental showdown. Will youth be served? Or can Iron Mike roll back the clock one more time and teach the problem child a lesson? While this battle of generations has fans excited, there are some major health concerns being raised that we can't ignore. Specifically, the rules and conditions Jake Paul is demanding could put the 57-year-old Iron Mike at serious risk of brain trauma if he agrees to them. I'm talking no headgear, smaller gloves, and a pro-fight designation. Now don't get me wrong, two years ago, we saw Tyson handle himself fine under exhibition guidelines for his fight with Roy Jones Jr., but asking a nearly 60-year-old to ramp things up against a top young athlete like Paul is just begging for trouble. Leading medical experts are speaking out about this, imploring Tyson's team not to let money or spectacle put his long-term health in jeopardy. Respected Dr. Stephen Hughes recently wrote, and I quote, 
In older people, the brain tends to lose volume. This lengthens the bridging veins and makes them more vulnerable to rupture. He warned that without headgear, Tyson risks detaching these critical veins and causing severe bleeding and damage. We're talking about possible stroke, coma, or even death as worst case scenarios. And that's not even considering the increased risk factors Tyson already has from past alcohol abuse and wear and tear. Hughes says Tyson could also develop heart muscle scarring that leads to failure or sudden cardiac arrest. I don't say any of this to fear mongers, but the health warnings are real and Tyson's safety should be the number one priority here. Not Jake Paul's demands. Paul and his manager have doubled down though, adamantly stating no headgear will be allowed. Paul angrily posted, some TikToker user made a video making up all these fake rules like me and Logan tag teaming Tyson, us wearing headgear, all of this bull. I would never let my fans down in a fight like this and wearing headgear. Come on now, people. I understand Jake wants to prove his skills against an all-time great, but there are ways to create compelling competition without endangering Tyson's long-term well-being. Sure, Iron Mike might smash Paul easily with big gloves and headgear, but isn't legacy preservation and safety far more important than one YouTube star's ego? This feels like another entry in a long pattern of Paul baiting legends while disregarding their age and condition. Look at what happened when an out-of-shape Ben Askren battled Paul last year. Askren got flattened in seconds and was mercilessly mocked. Paul took none of the risk but reaped all the viral fame and pay-per-view sales. Rinse and repeat chasing the next big name. In the case of Mike Tyson, this callous approach could legitimately end in tragedy, though. And I'm pleading with Jake Paul and his team to wake up and make this an exhibition under the same rules and gear Tyson fought under last time. Other young rising stars like Tommy Fury also called out Paul for trying to severely handicap a boxing icon pushing 60. Allowing headgear and appropriate glove size doesn't mean you can't still test your skills and create an exciting fight. At the end of the day, protecting Mike Tyson's safety should be everyone's chief concern, not torturing an old man for content and clout. I want your thoughts on this developing situation down below. Does Jake Paul need to compromise on his extreme rule demands for Tyson's sake? Or should Iron Mike back out entirely before he gets badly hurt? That's all we have in store for today. If you enjoyed today's video, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss out on an update from our channel. This is your buddy signing off. Stay tuned for more.